Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Allmark and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator. And today I thought I would talk to you about um, starting stamping. When you first receive or you have a look through our lovely catalogue, there is so much to choose from um, that it can be a little bit overwhelming. And I get asked quite often, what do you choose and how do you choose when you're a beginner? So I thought I would give you a few ideas and a few tips that might help you in that first step in your journey. So first of all, um, what I would do is you need some very basic things. So some of the things that you would need um, as your basics is something to cut paper with. Now, we have um, the stamping trimmer. Now, the stamping trimmer is absolutely brilliant because you can actually see all the measurements through on the top. It does them in metric and it does them in imperial. Um, it has an arm that comes out so you can get 12 by 12 pieces of cardstock and um, paper in there. And the nice thing is that it has um, two blades on here. One blade, um, as you can see, moves very, very easily up the track um, and that's for cutting. And the second one is actually for scoring. So you can score down through the centre of your card um, and it really is the perfect tool. So I would suggest getting a trimmer um, and the stamping up trimmer is one of the best that uh, um, is on the market. And so you want the trimmer. So you need some paper. Now the card stock that I would recommend is that you start with a pack of Whisper White card stock. Now, you get 40 sheets in total, um, which will give you your card bases, will give you your insides, um, and is a really lovely, smooth card stock, um, and is absolutely perfect for all your projects. So, one pack of A4 card stock. Now, inside, what I would suggest with, um, let's start with the inks, because we're doing paper, but obviously you want to be able to stamp on something. Now, Basic Black. Um, basic Black Archival um, is really good. It allows you to do watercolouring. It allows you to stamp all your images. It allows you to stamp your sentiments. So um, one of the nice things about the, um, the pads is that you press on where the little three dots are, you lift it up, turn it over, and there you go. You have your pad, nice big wide surface pad to be able to stamp on quite easily. Um, an easy way to go forward is to choose a, um, I would go for one of the in colours. Now, in your in colours, let, uh, let me show you one set of in colours. You have a blue, which is dapper denim. You have quite a vibrant pink, and you also have an orange, which is the peekaboo peach. So flirty flamingo and peekaboo peach. You have a green, and then you have a lovely sort of pinky, purpley, lilac-y colour called sweet sugar plum. So if you're doing grass, if you're doing sky, if you're doing flowers, you have a really good combination um, that will go together. And because they're in colours, they're designed to blend perfectly. So you can take any one of the colours together and they will all blend in perfectly. So I would suggest investing in one set of in colours. Now, let me just show you the other set of in colours so you've got a comparison between the two. So this is the one that has just been released in the annual catalogue which started in June. Um, they always choose colours that are on trend. So when you're going out shopping and things, you will see these colours everywhere because they are the in colours of the season. So we have Lemon Lime Twist, which is a light um, pale green colour. Um, it goes perfectly in combination with tranquil tide so you've got those sort of greeny blue tones for your leaves and your ground and all of those things um, fresh fig a beautiful sort of purpley color a pale pink and then a berry burst so again you have a choice between those that will blend together that will mix and match together um, and it's a great way of being able to choose um, a set of ink pads that you know you're going to use because they're designed to go together rather than you trying to work out and buy a lot to start off with. Now, these coordinate with our cardstock. So you can get a pack of in-colour cardstock 
Um, this is the 2017-2019, the one that I was just showing you on the second time round. And um, the nice thing about this is you get four sheets. Um, sorry, you get 20 sheets, but four sheets of each colour. So it gives you a chance to be able to, if I can just sort of show you up on here, to be able to use those for the tops of cards, the insides of cards, but you know that they will blend perfectly. Let me take the one on the top. That's your powder pink. You know that it will blend perfectly with the powder pink in there. So it's a great start um, in on there. Now, obviously, you've decided now on your ink um, pads and you've decided on your paper. Um, what you need to have is something to put your ink pads on. Now, I'm going to show you the whole collection. And what I would suggest is that you choose one or two blocks to start off with and then build up your collection. So if I show you these blocks, there is a block here for absolutely every one of our stamp sets from the tiniest little one here, which will take a little tiny flower. Um, the reason why these blocks are so good is that they have a ridge all the way around them um, so you can put your finger in. They are a great thickness which means that when you press down you get a lot of absorbency so you get really good images first time every time. Um, and they go up to this great big huge, if I can get it out, this great big huge block which obviously will take a whole background on there as well. And again, it's designed that you can hold it in your hand, that you can put it up and you can see very clearly what you're doing. So what I would suggest is choose one or two blocks um, that will be that will fit most of the things that you're going to do to start off with. Um, this is block D, and I think D is probably one of the most popular ones. And um, the slightly smaller one from that is block... C and the one slightly bigger is let me put it in they're designed to go really nicely is block E so I would suggest probably getting um, one of those three or all three of them to start off with because that will give you a good start um, when you build your collection like me you can put them in one of these lovely cases that come with it and you've got every single block that you would ever need um, so it is a real with Christmas coming up it's the sort of thing that you can turn around and uh, um, ask family and friends um, as, as, as Christmas presents so let me just put the top back on there and put that out on the side okay so we now have our inks we have our paper we have our blocks to put it on we also need something to put it together with um, which is adhesive. Now, there are two adhesives which um, I would recommend and which I use all the time. The first one is a multi-purpose glue. It's called Tombow um, and it's a mono liquid glue. Um, it's very good for when you're beginning because um, you've got a fine tip um, on this end, let me show you. Uh, which is great for just going around um, little sort of intricate edges. You've also got a, a really wide brush down the side if you're doing something big. I must admit I don't use that side, I use this side and I use it for almost everything. You will hear people talk about wiggle room. Wiggle room means that when you actually go to stick your, um, your image or your card base or your designer series paper, anything on, um, with the wet glue it allows just a little bit of wiggle room before it goes down properly. Um, which means that if you haven't got it quite straight the first time, you can ease it through. So I would recommend that glue. It lasts an awful long time um, and it dries absolutely perfectly. Um, the other thing is something called snail. Now snail, you um, it comes um, with um, like a glue tape. Um, you glue it down, use it like this and um, you can buy refills for it as well. So um, I tend to use this one if I'm putting ribbon and things on or putting something intricately because the wet glue is my favourite. Um, but again, they are both absolutely excellent glues and would make um, a good addition to your toolkit when you begin. Um, now, um, another thing for gluing things down or build, putting them up is something called um, dimensionals. Now, dimensionals are, I don't know whether you can see on there, these are the mini ones. I really love these mini ones because you get, 
oh I don't know how many you get you get lots and lots and lots I think it's something like does it say on here um several hundred I don't know how many several hundred you get three sheets and you've got all of these on them you can also snip around the edges as well so you can get tiny little pieces on there as well the reason that I like these small ones is they will go onto any even small image um, and they add just a little bit of dimension so a pack of dimensionals is always a handy thing to have um, and there are two other things that I would recommend. Sponge daubers, now I don't have any new ones, but sponge daubers are my favourite things for um, sponging on masks, adding texture. Um, they fit on your finger just like a thimble. Um, you can see that I've got mine um, colour coordinated for the colours that I use. Um, you can get them in a pack of five and they are absolutely brilliant. So I would suggest a pack of sponge daubers. Um, if you don't want to have the sponge daubers and want to try something else, our, um, our sponges are absolutely brilliant because you get three in a pack. Um, I've already used one of this one, but let me show you three in a pack. And what you can do is you can cut them down. You can cut them down in quarters, you can cut them down in six, you can even cut them down in eighths. And what it means is that you have a point and you can actually just use them for that. So um, they are a very good addition to any toolbox. And I would also, my one of my favourite things is the aqua painters. Aqua painters, again, allow you to, if I take an ink pad, when you open it up, if you squeeze your ink pad a little bit, um, you will get a pool of colour in the bottom. The Aqua Painter allows you to pick it up and then to be able to watercolour, to colour in any images, um, to add a wash to the back of your card, um, anything like that. And these Aqua Painters, you get two in a pack, um, one with a broader nib, which is this one, and another one with a finer nib. Um, these ones are exceptionally good because they have... Um, they have a little um, cartridge through on here. Let me see if you can see it. If I hold it up like that, you can actually see that um, they've got a cartridge on there. So when you put the water through, um, it doesn't come pouring through. It's actually got almost like a little filter thing that comes through, which means that um, you can get some really great images with it. So um, they come in a pair, so I would suggest getting those. And the last thing, obviously, is a stamp set. Now, there are hundreds to choose from. One I would recommend as the first stamp set that you get is Colourful Seasons. The reason why is that, as the title says, Seasons, it allows you to do autumnal cards with leaves. It allows you to do um, branches which allows you to do trees with little flowers on with blossom which could be spring um, you've got lovely little flowers on there which would go for any time of the year you've also got a deck chair which again is summer and you've got snowflakes which covers winter as well so as a beginning set you really have something for every single season you've got sentiments that say may all your tomorrows be as happy as today um, which would work for a birthday, which would work for an anniversary. You've got You Make Me Smile, work for absolutely anything. Just Breathe. Um, congratulations. Um, again, congratulations on, on a wedding, passing an exam. Um, and Life is a Beautiful Thing. And Thinking of You, which would cover a sympathy. So in one stamp set, you have 24 different images which would cover virtually everything you can think of when you're beginning to stamp. So this is the one that I would recommend. It's a photopolymer one. Um, photopolymer means that you can actually see through it. So if I hold it up, you can actually see on the stamps that you can see through them, which means when you're beginning and you want to line something up, you can actually see straight through. So it, it, it's a really good set. And I think it has just about something for everybody when you're beginning. So those are my ideas for you. Um, I hope it will fi you'll find it um, helpful um, when you're looking through the catalogue um, because it is daunting and I know what it's like for everybody. If you'd like to go across to my website, which is amethyststarcrafting.blogspot.com, 
um, and have a browse through there. There are lots of different card ideas and lots of things which hopefully will whet your appetite. And um, as I say, one of the nice things about crafting is it's a great big family and enjoy. Um, life is a beautiful thing and just breathe and enjoy your crafting. Thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you again. Bye bye.